Hey guys, welcome back to Simple City Barbecue. I'm Pitmaster James Cruz, and in this week's video, we're not cooking anything. We've done a little prep work. I'll show you guys how to trim a whole pack of brisket. This is not a competition trim. This is a trim you want to do at home to have the best possible brisket in your house, your neighborhood, your whole city, whatever it is. I'm about to glove up. We're going to get started. Can in a sec. Actually, you know what? I'm, um, I'll pause and I'll tell you come on in and just kind of come through here as I'm kind of explaining. It, I'll tell you what. Okay. As you can see here, we have a whole pack of brisket, one that we cook every day at the restaurant. This is a CAB Prime. This is a CAB Prime. That means Certified Angus Beef Prime. If you look at this thing, so on this side you have the pulling side, you have a uh, flat, all covered by a fat cap. Put a little skin over the top. You look over this side, it's got a nice thick flat on it, which leans right into the point over here. Then you got the flat side, which we're going to clean all of this stuff up right here. You got a little bit of uh, fat on there, a little bit of silver skin. So I'm actually going to start with this side right here. I've got a towel to keep things clean. I've got a pan here, which is going to allow me to keep my trimmings to make you can grind it for burgers, sausage, hot dogs and bologna like, bologna like we do here at the restaurant. Do whatever you want with them. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to trim off this side right here. That brown meat right there, that's actually kind of pre-cooked meat. It's basically a steam pasteurization process to do at the butcher when you start processing half carcasses. So, all I'm going to do now is grab my knife and go across. Okay? Just want to kind of go all the way across from here and remove that. Come through here, get a little bit more off. I'm gonna keep some, I'm gonna keep a lot, it's got a good fat to meat ratio. That's gonna be our scrap pan right there. All right, now you can see that, I'm gonna clean that up a little bit right there. I really just wanna get a squared edge. You know, I wanna make this thing as aerodynamic as possible, okay? The next thing I wanna do, I wanna take off this deck. Let's go here, let's just remove this. And that can go in here. All right, now you see there's some nice marbling to this flat, this point right here. I'm gonna remove this a little bit right here. Start to get smooth. Let's go through here. There's a fat seam here. I want to remove all of that. So let's go through here. I'm gonna square it off one more time. Okay. We're getting there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cleaning up some of this silver skin right here. See all this stuff right here? What's going to happen is that's going to prevent some of the rub from sticking. It's going to re let's remove some of it. So I kind of want to go in the, in the direction of the muscle grain. Okay, so I'm going to kind of get up in here. Don't take off too too much meat, but it ain't going to kill you if you do. Just get in there a little bit. And get as close to it as possible. And now I actually start to expose some of that marble of this prime brisket here. Let's get through here. And I want to kind of lift up as I go, because it's kind of, kind of lift that skin, a little bit of that thin fat. Let's get through here. All right. It's taking a little work to kind of get through it. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up. I'm going to speed through a little bit, but I'll be right back. All right, so now that I've got all the silver skin off, you can see the, the muscle grains, you can see the marbling, you can see everything in there. We're going to, do, we're going to flip it over. Now I want this thing to start taking a little more shape, okay? You see, I still got a little more of that, that brown meat. Let's take it off real quick. Couldn't see it from the other side. There we go. Let's cut this in half, let's keep it over here. So the other thing is, see this side here, it's paper thin. I don't want to keep that right there, because that's just going to dry up on me, along with this side right here. So I'm just going to square this thing up, kind of up through here. Let's keep that as well. And I want to kind of come around here because I want this thing to be almost a round shape, kind of aerodynamic. Because the best thing you want, what you really want here, is a little airflow over the top. You want it to be smooth. Okay. Now you look at it, I've got a nice round shape here. The other side here is this is the other side of the deck. We want to remove this. Let's go through here. Get some of that slimy fat out of there. You don't want that. 
It's not gonna really render correctly. And when it goes through here, I take some of this off. Let's get rid of this. It's actually starting to look nice now. Get under here. Perfect. Right. Now let's cut through over here. What I want now is about a quarter inch of fat across the entire thing. This is fine here. It's a little bit of skin, a little bit of thin fat. But on this side, I want to start shaving it down a little. Like I said, take smaller cuts. Go through. Get rid of this. Go through here. All right. Don't kill it. Don't go too deep. You want a nice little layer of fat across the top. Perfect. Let's go across the top here now. I said always make always make small cuts. You want cut through here a little bit too as well. And put your knife at an angle like this. Got a little bit of spot right there, but it's not that's not hurting. All right. We're getting there. And now we'll just start shaping it. As you're going through, you'll see some of that heavier fat. That's some of the stuff you don't want in there. Let's round this point up. Okay. If you want to, you can actually start taking off some of the skin. It doesn't necessarily have to be on there. I like to remove it sometimes. And if you can, take it off. You're going to lift up and just run your knife down the whole time. It's still fairly thin around here. I've got about a quarter inch fat. So an eighth inch fat all the way around. Except for right here. Let's get rid of this one. Okay. Then this other stuff here, this little sharp edges, that stuff's just gonna burn. So let's just run a knife across the top of this now. Right, let's get this, let's get this going. You can save that right there. Alright, actually we're looking pretty good. Let's take a little more off right here. That's pretty much it. So if you look at it, we've got a nice shape on this brisket. It's round, it's aerodynamic. You want air to pass over really smoothly. You don't want any catching on to anything. That's why we get rid of the sharp edges on this side. We got a, a rounded nose over here. You look at this side here. This thing has got a great shape to it. All your flat. Um, look, we removed any excess fat that we don't need, stuff that stuff that won't render, stuff that you know just is gonna get in the way. I mean, I think we've got a good looking brisket here. What do you guys think? How was that trim job? Did I do okay? Well look guys, this is such an easy trim. I showed you step by step why I do things, what I'm saving some of these scrap for, stuff that needs to go to trash. It's super easy. Before you tackle your own brisket, go get yourself a prime or choice or select whatever you do, hit that subscribe button so you get notified by these videos and you can maybe watch this one again. I love doing these videos for you guys every week. Follow the restaurant on social media on Facebook and on Instagram. Follow myself on Facebook and on Instagram. Ask me all the questions you want about trimming, about cooking, anything you want to do that's barbecue related. I'm here to help you guys. See you next week.